on the death of Queen Elizabeth, a new monarch takes the throne. You'll be surprised to know. <laughs> You'll be surprised to know that Charles had the option of choosing one of his four names as his official title: Charles, Philip, Arthur, or George. And he went with Charles the Third as his official title. So, what does it mean to be Charles in the British history? Well, the first King Charles was born in 1600s as the son of King James the First. Although seemingly growing up in apparent wealth and luxury, Charles had a very hard time growing up. He not only suffered from a stammer, was often sick, and had difficulty walking, but he was overshadowed by his elder brother for the majority of his life, as his elder brother was the heir apparent. But after the sudden death of his elder brother, he became the heir and soon, in his mid-twenties, the king. Charles faced a lot of the same problems attacking his father, mainly with the parliament. And by 1642, parliament had sacked the king and England had descended into civil war. Charles was tried and found guilty of treason and he was to be executed. On the way to his execution... On the way... To his e has has On the way to his execution in 1649, January, it was a very chilly day and Charles asked for an extra shirt. And according to Charles Carthel, he asked for it not because, because he didn't want to think when people saw him shiver that he was shivering out of fear. Rather, he was just shivering because of the cold and he did not want to display an image of a weakened king. So how did the second Charles fare? So Charles II was just 18 and in exile when his father was killed. Scotland declared him King Charles II, but the English had abolished the monarchy and declared England a republic. So for the next decade, Charles II watched from a distance as Oliver Cromwell basically turned the English Republic into a dictatorship. He banned anything and everything that was fun, including theatre, sports, feast days, makeup, and even cuss words. He even banned Christmas. So King Charles II eventually oversaw the period that we now know as the Restoration, in which they did everything kind of opposite to what the Puritans were doing earlier. However, his reign still had some major problems. They saw the Great Plague of 1665, the Great Fire of London in 1666, and the Parliament continued to be a pain in his back like it was with his father and his grandfather. So it's apparent that the name Charles has come to represent many things over British history. A steadfast character or a troubled reign? Only time will reveal what it holds for King Charles III.